William Shakespeare is notorious for his tragic and comedic plays, but he is equally well known for his sonnets and poetry. The exact date of his birth is unknown, but it is recognized to have been around April in 1564 in a town called Stratford-upon-Avon, England. He was educated as a child in Stratford Grammar School, where he gained a firm grasp of the Latin and English languages before he had to leave school at age 13 due to his father's financial difficulties. When he was 18, he married a woman eight years his senior named Anne Hathaway. Together, they had three children, a daughter named Susanna and a set of twins, a boy named Hamnet and a girl named Judith. Tragically, in 1596, Hamnet died at the young age of 11. After Shakespeare's marriage was a time period known as the Lost Years, aptly named because not much of Shakespeare is known during that time. Shakespeare appeared on the London theatre scene as an actor, becoming part of the acting company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men, which began performing some of his original plays in 1594. He became famous for his plays, but behind the scenes he had been writing sonnets for his private circle of friends. It is doubtful that he ever meant these sonnets to be read by the public, but in 1609, a collection of 154 sonnets was indeed published. It is theorized that the publisher, a man named Thomas Thorpe, did not have the authorization to do so. The theme of most of Shakespeare's sonnets revolved around three different subjects. The fair youth, a rival poet, and a mysterious dark mistress. More often than not, the poems were about this fair youth supposedly a remarkably handsome, younger man who was above Shakespeare in class rank. Because of numerous romantic addresses to the fair young man in his sonnets, people have speculated that Shakespeare may in fact have been homosexual, although he was a married man with three children. In Sonnet 55, Not Marble, Nor the Gilded Monument, the poem seems to be about Shakespeare's love for this young man, promising him immortality through his poetry. Whether the young man ever returned Shakespeare's affections is unknown, but it appears as though this promise has continued to be kept throughout the hundreds of years. Shakespeare's legacy has grown exponentially since the time of his death in April 1616, and today people all over the world study his sonnets and plays. The mysterious young man Shakespeare loved has become infamous through these sonnets, and Shakespeare himself has become the epitome of romantic poetry.